Good evening folks, this is just a really quick video in response to a question a chap called Michael asked me in one of my uh, Florian CCTV videos. And the question Michael asked was a really good question, and that was, how did I protect my system from the elements when I was installing it? And it's, yeah, it's a really good question. You know, um, CCTV systems, you know, can't, well obviously they can be inside, but a lot of them are outside like mine's. And, um, you know, it rains, it snows, it, you know, all sorts of precipitation, fog, you know, mist, all that type of moisture in the air and, and landing directly, you know, water landing directly on uh, our cameras and stuff. Uh, and not just CCTV systems, anything, you know, sky dishes, uh, TV antennas, all that sort of stuff are susceptible to damage from water. Um, in terms of like coax uh, from antennas, etc., you know, if you get water ingress in there, uh, if it's a pure copper cable, um, or you know, even copper clad aluminium cable, you know, water uh, and the acids contained in that um, water will eventually break down the metal conductors and, you know, it, the cable will fail and you will lose your signal uh, for whatever it may be uh, that you're using that cable for. Um, in terms of CCTV, yeah, what well, We've got water, we've got two amps at 12 volts can down that. Yeah, if we get water in there, it's going to start reacting, you know. The, the cable will fail and, you know, we will uh, eventually have to replace that or repair it. And, and I'm almost certain you'll have heard the, um, the saying, prevention is better than cure, and of course it is in this case. Um, now, we're going to concentrate on CCTV uh, cameras here because that was where the question was asked. Um, but, yeah... This is a, a typical arrangement on a, a lower end budget um, CCTV camera. You know, we've got the camera itself on the mount, a short fly lead with the uh, BNC and the DC jack uh, sockets. And um, yeah, when we're installing that, we want to protect those from the elements. Now, we can, with all the best will in the world, install it in a location where it's going to avoid getting uh, rain, etc., uh, directly landing on it. Uh, for instance, on my property, um, you know, I've got it mounted in the soffit boards under the roof. So, you know, there's going to be very limited rain actually directly landing on the camera or the connections itself. However, I do live next to the sea and that comes with various problems. Obviously, the salty sea air, which uh, again can corrode, uh, you know, metals much more rapidly than you say, you know, further in inland. Um, but also we do tend to get a lot of fog and mist and, and that, like I say, can cause its own problems. <clears throat> so, prevention is better than cure. How how do we do it? Well, um, there's various ways we can do that. The first one and the most expen expensive option is to buy a more expensive CCTV kit. Now, what you're going to get with a more expensive CCTV kit is maybe a bit better build quality on your box. Uh, you might get slightly better cameras, but if I'm totally honest with you the likelihood is it's exactly same uh, exactly the same sensor module uh, inside a more a higher quality casing that's really all you're going to get maybe some better quality cables you know such and that but you know to all intents and purposes there's no real difference between a more expensive and a cheaper cctv it's just more about build quality more than anything else that's my opinion anyway um, but what you will get in a more expensive kit is you will get purpose made or not purpose made but you know specialist waterproof connectors that you don't need to prepare yourself you know you just plug them in they've got a waterproof gasket on there and you know they, they will do the job um so if we're not going to spend extra money on a more expensive ccdv system we're going to have to waterproof those connections ourselves so, options we've got for that, well, we could use good old uh, PVC electrical tape, uh, insulating tape, and, you know, that will work um, for some time. Uh, I wouldn't like to put a, a, a time a time scale on it, but the thing is with PVC electrical tape is, if it's outside, you know, it's getting cold in, in the winter, it's getting warm in the summer, you know, that constant thermal expansion and contraction is eventually going to break down the adhesive on here. I've seen it before, you'll have seen it before. Um, it either goes really gummy and starts peeling away, or uh, it goes powdery and white. 
and that's certainly the case with uh, duct tape as well duct tape is absolutely fantastic for binding stuff up and for a strong short term repair but in terms of waterproofing it will work for a short while but then again you'll have seen it the adhesive goes powdery it just falls off and you end up with a, the silver back and just flapping about in the wind it's really only suitable for short term uh, repairs um, so the best stuff you can use um, and it's not something I'm not going to insult people and say not many people have heard of this but it took me quite a few years before I discovered this stuff and this stuff's called self amalgamating tape and it is fantastic stuff um, it really really is good stuff uh, especially for water, waterproofing electrical connections outside um, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to show it just now um, I'm just going to do a little demo uh, now I've prepared this is just 6 core alar alarm wire which I've just uh, uh, twisted all the conductors together and applied a little bit of solder on so this tape obviously we can use for anything outside electrical um, any kind of wire, um, be it just a joint, um, obviously in a single, a single conductor really. Um, uh, it could be into like a, a screw terminal joining. Um, it could be, in this case, for the CCTV, BNC or DC jack connectors. Um, so yeah, I thought we'll just use this as an example because um, I don't have any cable with connectors already on. Um, and yeah, I'll show you how this tape actually works. So, um, how shall we do this? I'll just place this on you actually. So we'll just join this, uh, I'll join these two pieces of uh, wire together. And it doesn't need to be tidy, it's just... Uh, It's just to give an idea of how the stuff works. Yeah, that's not a tidy at all. But. So there's a uh, joint, not perfect, but um, you know it's just representative of two pieces of wire being joined together. And what we do is we take our self-amalgamating tape. Now, how this comes is it comes with the, the tape itself, which is a, a sort of rubbery tape it's not sticky at all um very well possibly very slightly but you can see you know it's not sticking to my my finger there you know my finger just comes straight off it um and it's got a backing tape which uh you know is this a i don't know if it's pvc but it's just like a plastic backing tape and what we do is we take uh, a small amount of this now obviously depending on the application will depend on how much of this you actually need to use um, and I'm sure there's probably somewhere online you can you know put in what size of joint you want to cover and it'll tell you how much you actually need to use um, but how self amalgamating tape works is it basically sticks to itself um, or amalgamates um, as the name would suggest and sometimes the backing tape can be quite difficult to get off. As you can see. So. This really isn't easy. <laughs> I should have prepped this before I started. Never mind. Okay, here we go. So there we have it. Yeah, so we've got with backing tape, just this thin plastic and actual rubbery tape itself. And all we do with this is we go um, just above where we want the joint. So I normally go uh, about the same width um, of the tape above where the joint is. And all we do is pull that round, but pull, give it some tension, st stretch it as we're wrapping this tape round and then just peel the backing tape as you go over the top and then the same process on the way back down and 
when you get to the end you can pull off the the rest of the backing tape and just hold it. You don't want to let this go because it will, like I say, it will stick to itself. And there we have it, you know, it's not the tidiest of joints, I'll, I'll give you that. But what this tape does is, like I say, it amalgamates, it sticks to itself. And uh, over time, you know, in a very short period of time, this uh, tape will essentially become one. It will become a solid piece of rubber. Um, and to the point that the only way you can get that this off is to actually cut it. Um, and it will peel off in one big go. But what it does is it, it, it prevents totally uh, water ingress. You know, it really does seal that joint in uh, really securely. And certainly when I install my CCTV cameras, you know, the, the connections, you know, I went over a few times and they are absolutely solid. They won't pull apart because they're held in, obviously because it's rubber, it's it's springy, if you like. So that the, the connections, are the connectors are actually being pulled together. And uh, like you see, it becomes one piece of rubber, um, totally solid, totally impermeable to water, uh, and it will never ever um, break down. You know, it won't. It won't um, perish. Um, most of these are silicon based. It, it won't perish. Um, what do you call it? It won't crack. It won't do anything. It will just remain nice and flexible, nice and waterproof um, for as long as your equipment's uh, installed. So yeah, I just thought um, I'd do that video for Michael and show you what I use. It's, it's called Self Amalgamate Tape. A roll of this will normally cost you, if you get it on eBay, uh, maybe two or three pounds for, for 20 metres, something like that. But you don't need a lot of it. Um, I've had this roll for quite a few years. Um, you know, and it it's as good now as it was when I first got it, but definitely worth getting it. Really handy to have, um, you know, around around the home. It's actually really good to have in the car as well. For instance, um, if uh, you've got a sort of low pressure, obviously you wouldn't put on something high pressure, but something low pressure, um, like a car radiator hose, um, something like that. You know, if you get a hole in that when you're driving around, you know, get your tape out, stretch it round. You know, it's going to bond itself together. Um, and it's really, really strong, um, you know, and it will get you home if, if you've got a hole in your radiator, for instance, in your car. It's really handy to have knocking around uh, or just in your toolkit in the car. So, I know I've been rambling on slightly, but yeah, I hope you found that useful. Um, if you did, give us a thumbs up, and uh, if you enjoy my videos, uh, please subscribe. Anyway, until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.